Hi there, I'm Bella Rose from Tech City, back with the Tech City News Updates. It's the first episode of the News Updates in the year 2021, and here's hoping that the year has been fantastic for you so far. In the news today, CEO of Alibaba, Jack Ma, has resurfaced after three months of going completely missing in action. Former chairman of Conga.com, Sim Shagaya, gets funding for his education technology platform, Ulesson. Funke Akindele Bello is now the highest grossing movie producer with her movie, Omo Ghetto, the saga will get you details of that and we've got information about a license that filmmakers will have to acquire before shooting movies in parts of Lagos. Details after this. Now, before we go into the news in detail, I'd like to inform you that if you want a more extensive, more comprehensive conversation around all of these news items and more, click the link to the Texas podcast in the description box right below. Now, after three months of absolute silence, CEO of Alibaba, Jack Ma, resurfaced last week Wednesday, apparently much chastened. The very fact that he resurfaced sent Alibaba, his company's shares, up 8.5% on the day a video of him was confirmed as genuine, but his return has not necessarily cleared things up on his disappearance in the first place. According to a transcript of the speech he delivered in the video that went viral, he said China had realized a complete eradication of poverty and is revitalizing the countryside in a new development stage of common prosperity for the nation. These comments, people have said, bear a stark contrast to his last comments in public, which were made in October last year when he was last seen. He was also quoted as saying, my colleagues and I have been learning and thinking and we have become more determined to devote ourselves to education and public welfare. And this was him addressing teachers at a rural school somewhere in China. The Jack Ma Foundation confirmed that he had taken part in the online edition of the annual Rural Teacher Initiative event last week Wednesday. The Rural Teachers Initiative was established by Jack Ma's foundation as far back as 2015 to support teachers working in the Chinese countryside. Now for the past five years, Jack Ma has invited invited rural teachers to the tropical island of Hainan for a ceremony to present 100 of the most outstanding with a cash grant of 100,000 yen, that is about 14,000 US dollars each to support their teaching. In other news, former CEO of Conga.com, Sim Shagaya's education technology platform, Ulesson, has just closed a $7.5 million Series A round led by Owl Ventures with an inclusion from existing investors, TLCom Capital and Founder Collective, and a participation from new investor, Local Globe. Tori Patterson, Managing Director of Owl Ventures, joins the Ulesson board further strengthening the education startup's push to deliver affordable, high-quality and accessible education education across Africa using technology. It was reported that students who use the ULESSON platform can access lessons via streaming and SD cards where they can download and store the content, allowing them to study remotely, removing challenges around internet access limitations and cost. ULESSON's content is originally tailored for Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Liberia and the Gambia within the K-12 segment and now includes the IGCSE curriculum which is relevant for other markets. The team has to date produced around 5,000 pretty decent videos animated on social media and 30,000 quizzes and tests across senior and junior classes on its Android application that supports each country's curriculum. Omogeto the Saga, produced by Funke Akindele Bello, released on the 25th of December 2020, has now broken a four-year record held by Kemi Adetiba's The Wedding Party. In a statement released by the Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria, CEAN, Omogeto the Saga has so far grossed over 450 million naira after holding the number one spot for its third week in a row. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, also reports that Funke Akindele Bello's latest feat is probably the most shocking in recent times as it comes amidst a pandemic that has crippled the film industry for months. Reacting to the good news, Funke and her husband in an Instagram video were dancing in appreciation to God for the great success. And before we go, Lagos State Governor Mabajide Sonwolu has reacted to a recent outcry by Nollywood actress Tony Abraham on the incessant harassment 
filmmakers and counter. While filming someone who wrote an interview with Channels TV, that filmmakers might consider looking into getting state permits to shoot in areas of Lagos to avoid harassment by area boys. He also suggested that they could seek proper permission from private property owners, saying, "If you're going to film some somewhere, right, that there are rules that will that will guide that will, that will guide that. Maybe you just need a little permit." I just need to tell, you know, the owner of the property, these are the things that I'm doing, right? And, and I think that way you will, you know, have easier access, right? And you'll be able to do your, your, your thing, you know, easily. You know, but, but part of the problems that we have is that everybody thinks that everything is open to everyone. Nobody has any monopoly of anything. In response, however, talent manager and publicist and owner of Box Culture, Taiwan DME, tweeted a photo of what seems to be a license the governor made sound like a futuristic thing adding to that tweet lol why is he using might for what is already happening this license still doesn't deter touts from harassing people so what's your point your excellency he tweeted and that's all we have time for today on the tech city news update i'm belarus from tech city saying thanks for watching and a reminder that if you need a more comprehensive conversation around these news items and more you should check out the tech city podcast via the link in the description box right below. Leave a comment as well and let us know what your thoughts are on some of the news items we've shared today. It's like coming away again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.